there were mice in here and look what they did to this check out my hard drive here just got all kinds of fluid this may be the dirtiest thing I've ever worked on what do you think Brutus looks pretty gross doesn't it all right, so as you know, we've got the new CRT, which is the big Sony GDM. And one of the things I was really interested in working more while I was testing that monitor is using uh, kind of an original era from the same era as the monitor, a PC from that era. And this is a good example of one. This is from 2003. The problem here is this this computer, I, I've, I put it in storage probably a decade ago. And uh, other than just pulling it out to randomly test a VGA monitor, I've not really done anything with it. So it has been sitting and um, I'll show you this. It's the grossest thing I've probably ever worked on. There's mouse droppings in it. There's dust and dirt all over it. Look, this is a power supply. It's, it's just so loud. It's like a rocket. And that makes sense. Is there's just an a, a enormous buildup of dust and dirt inside the actual power supply. And that, um, I'm really surprised this thing didn't have some kind of serious issue where it just had a failure. Thankfully it did not. This needs to be cleaned up and um, really working correctly and not fail for me to properly test the monitor that I want to. That's what we're gonna be working on is restoring this. It's gonna be mostly cleaning. And then we do have some recapping to do on this motherboard. Again, it's a Gateway 2003 computer. It has a Pentium 4. 2.4 gigahertz processor inside of it uh, it does have a graphics card which i will show you some too in this video because it's part of it a sound card um, and then the power supply we've got a couple external hard drives a cd drive and then a three by five fly or hard disk drive in it but this thing needs to be completely disassembled and clean and then um, Put back together and we could start testing it on the new monitor so let's just jump in we're gonna start tearing this thing down and i mean again oh guys definitely don't wait like this Th this could go at any moment <laughs> uh, okay here's our cpu cooler it's just filthy and this is when they used to put the power supplies up top so this is also dirty but I really want to zoom in right here at this capacitor next to these MOSFETs and this one. They're actually swollen on the top pretty severely. So those are, um, well, it's difficult to see from here, but they're definitely really rounded on the top and expanded. Uh, so that's one issue for sure. That's a high heat area next to that. So that needs to be checked out. A lot of dirt build up, but you'll notice, um, as I warned you, there's the RAM. As I warned you, um, there were ra or mice in here. And look what they did to this. And uh, this is really old, but disgusting nonetheless. They uh, got inside this tower and used it as the bathroom but check out my hard drive here just got all kinds of fluid oozing I'm so surprised it still even worked but um, I already removed the graphics card and checked it out it's actually a decent little graphics card for this time period this was ATI Radeon and the Radeon 9600 256 megabyte DDR Hard. It's at a maximum clock speed of 400 megahertz and maxes out at DirectX 9. So it's not going to play modern games. We've got DVI and VGA right there. Okay. Got four sticks of 256 megabytes. RAM here. I'm not quite sure on the speed here. 80, 800 by 45. 
Holy crap, would you just look at this shield on the power supply? Look at the power supply. No wonder it's so loud. Ew. This may be the dirtiest thing I've ever worked on. fan that was mounted to the heat sink for the CPU here. It's been removed. Obviously the power supply on these older PCs goes up here in the tower. It's a bad design, but that's where it was. So it's pulled down here. Uh, PCIe Express is empty. Graphics card's out. So is the sound card. And I'll probably just disconnect my power cables and pull this power supply out and work on it first. Here we have the power supply stripped down, cleaned around the fan. Let's check this out. Let's go get this in the sunlight. Just look at that build up in there. I'm surprised none of those capacitors failed. So on this power supply, I'm actually gonna try this CRC QC or QD electronic cleaner. Since there's no lubricated parts, should be a nice spray off and let it dry, especially since we have a couple days. Let's let this dry and see how it looks after. All right, everybody, here it is. The cleaner did a fantastic job. Took a lot of it, but it evaporates rather quickly. It's supposed to be safe for this stuff. I'm sure it is. It's much, much, much cleaner now. This is for um, my CD drive up top. And that connects over into this white slot on the motherboard. And then you've got right next to that a black slot which connects into the master hard drive here. And now the motherboard is pretty well free uh, for us to try to get out. I can already see we've got some security bolts in here, which thankfully I've got a kit that can get these out. But quite a few here. Now normally, I'd tear this down further, but a lot of this seems to be held together with plastic rivets. I'm afraid if I take apart or rip at, it'll crack and break the plastic. Since I've got a few days to wait for those parts and let this all dry, the only thing left in here are um, extension cables to USB ports and then the power button assembly. And that's pretty much it, everything else has been removed so we're gonna get in here and just hose this sucker out and then uh, I'm gonna use some different cleaners but I, I just don't want to get too close personally to any of that just look at all that manure Ugh. time to get rid of it We've got a big improvement here and I've hosed it off. I used some car wash stuff and now I'm just going to let it air dry out here the rest of the afternoon. I've got other pieces set out in the yard and we're going to let the sun just do what it can to 
evaporate a lot of this extra water. Let's go over and take a look at the circuit boards because there's something I want to show you on the motherboard. Well, Brutus is in here. He's getting himself clean. Got it there, Brutus? <laughs> Good boy. I'm looking at all the hardware here that I've serviced to this point. In the back, we've got the hard drive and the two media drives. Over here, I've got my serviced power supply. And then here is our graphics card. And then here is our sound blaster auto g sb1394 sound card it's also been cleaned and then here is our motherboard i've already repopulated our ram and our cpu which again is an L intel pentium 4 2.4 gigahertz processor and the real issue on this board I mean, it looks spotless and brand new, except for two things. That's these capacitors right here that I showed you earlier inside the board. I'll show you some pictures of them close up. But if you, if we can get in there and look at them closely, maybe hard to see here, but they're not flat anymore. They're con or they're cone shaped a little bit, like an ice cream cone. So they have to be replaced. So I need to replace these two. I do not have these caps in stock. They're 6.3 volt, 3300 microfarad. So I have to order these. And that's why we're gonna have time for our shell to fully dry. The last thing I'll show you is the cooler, which we will have to reinstall, but it's a pretty simple cooler with just a fan on top and 12 volt fan and then a aluminum block here. No copper core or anything. We'll have to apply some new thermal paste uh, so we'll do that after we replace these capacitors. Thanks again for watching today, everybody. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next exciting installment of our PC restoration. We will be reassembling the computer after we recap the motherboard and also install some new hardware with some new fans and some other modifications that I'm sure you'll enjoy. And then finally, we'll get to test that PC with our amazing Sony GDM CRT and that episode should be out in a couple of weeks but please if you enjoyed this one leave me a like and uh, your feedback is always appreciated I will see you guys next time with some more retro content